Okay, guys, I'm here today with Charles Sonny and Fabiano Scherner. A huge honor for me to be here. I'm a huge fan of this guy, everything he has done in MMA. And uh, today he's going to show us one of the techniques that Fabiano showed to him and he used against Brian Stan. And it's an arm triangle that uh, he developed together with Fabiano. And uh, let's see how he does it. All right, guys, so, uh, Coach, if I can have you on your back. Uh, when I was competing with Brian Stan, uh, I was in side control. And we were here fighting. You have to understand in MMA, there's different strikes you have to look out for. And there's some stuff he can do from the bottom. So I was really trying to pin him down to block some of his elbows and his strikes coming. So I just simply came under his head and I had his arm. And we were just in this position. As I started to feel some pressure by him, as he was pushing on my chin and kind of trying to pry me away, I just used that pressure against him. I just simply popped the arm and now I've got him trapped. As soon as I get him trapped, the real key is I don't then want to lose this. He can lose, I can lose this position by him just pulling his arm back. So what I'm going to do as soon as I pass that is I'm going to drop my head. I'm going to put a lot of pressure right here and I'm looking for my lock. One of the keys on this lock is I want this arm as deep as I can get it. As deep as I can get it so that this overhand doesn't have to do a lot of work. Once I grasp, now it's just a matter of getting to the other side. And yes, there is some techniques here. I don't want to get leg entangled. I can go to mouth. I can go knee on belly. Start to work myself across. I can windshield wipe But the key is to get to this other side. And again, the real focus is here is my head. I'd love to have my head on the mat. If I can't reach it, I'm going to get it as close as I can. Because again, I'm using this to pin this arm. Once I do clear to this side, it's about getting my head down, my lock tight, and dropping my hips. And as soon as I can get here nice and tight, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait and squeeze. I'm not in a huge rush. And I will see some athletes that can finish guys instantly. I see other athletes like myself. Maybe it's because of how I'm built. Maybe it's because of the way I got my lock. It's all okay. I'm safe here. I'm taking my time. He's the one that's got to move. When he starts moving, when he starts using that resistance, he's really working against himself. That's what's going to tire him out and ultimately bring the choke. One more time, a little faster speed. I'm in side control. I'm looking to defend myself. I don't always have to be attacking. I'm looking to keep myself safe. So right here, I'm pinning down. I'm feeling this pressure. He's always going to do that. He, he has no other choice. I'm just going to push that elbow by and instantly drop my head so that he can't get that arm back. Now I'm looking for my lock and I'm looking to pass sides over here. Now I'm looking to push my head down, drop my hips, and squeeze. All I'm going to do, emphasis on lock, on positioning, and patience. Guys, I really like it because uh, the way he does it, it's very safe. For example, when I'm competing in Jiu-Jitsu, I don't like too much the submissions that there is a huge chance I lose the position. But the way Chow is doing, is doing here, it's very good because this is the type of position that's very, very safe for him. Even if he misses it, he's going to steal the side control. Okay? So then when, when Fabiano goes here, he just pops the arm, goes to the arm triangle, and switches to the other side. So even if something wrong happens here, he's still in the dominated position. So he didn't miss the side control. So very good one. I love the show. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for being on. Awesome.